Hello again. So I got a very nice letter from a viewer named Elvio, and I hope I pronounced your name correctly. And Elvio wanted to know, how do you copy a layer? Or if it was even possible to copy a layer? So I thought that was a very interesting question, and I came in and I looked at AnyRail, and I couldn't find any obvious way to copy a layer. So I thought about it overnight, and I came up with an idea, and I gave it a try, and it failed miserably. So I went back to the drawing board, and I came up with another idea, and I think it's going to work. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can copy track to another layer. And in the next video, I'll show you how to copy things like the room outline or structures to another layer. Now, as with all of my videos, if you have a better way to do this, please let me know and we'll redo the video and incorporate your ideas. But for right now, this is the way I came up with. So on your screen in front of you is a big jumbled mess, and that's my uh, plan for my railroad. And as you can see, it hasn't progressed very much, and I'm still in the process of cleaning out the room and getting the room ready, so I haven't really finalized the design yet. But what we're going to do here is we are going to copy one of the layers. And the one we're going to copy is this one right here, the 3.4 upper level track layer. So let's turn off every other layer because that's important and when you're going to be copying layers. So I'm going to turn off the room outline, my staging track, my lower level track, and my crossover track from uh, the different levels. So now I'm left with just this upper level track and this guy floating out here, but we're going to keep him here. Now, the first thing we want to do is we want to add in our new layer. So we're going to come up here and we're going to go to add layer. And you'll see it came up as layer 24. Now I'm going to name this layer in such a manner that it will nestle in right in here. So let's call this 3.4. A, and then we'll just say copy of 3.2. We'll hit enter. And you'll notice that it has become our active layer now. And that's very important to remember when we're going to be copying and pasting to our new layer. And now I'm going to just get them arranged properly. So now we have 3.4 and we have 3.4A. Now you'd think this would be easy. Now I'm going to go back to the original layer, the 3.4 layer. You'd think you'd just come in here like this and you would select it and you would do a control C and then you would go to the layer that you want to paste it onto because if you don't go to your new layer it's just going to go back onto the layer that you're copying from. So let's go to 3.4a. But the thing about any rail is when you paste back in it pastes in around where you have your mouse pointer. So how do you line that up? So now if I come back in here and I now do a control V, I have to deselect this, do control V. See, it pops in like that. So that's not going to line up. So let me get rid of that. So that set me to thinking, now how can I get it to line up? Now this may not work in every situation or you may have to add something in. And in this situation, I have a couple of sidings right here, well, more like industrial tracks, right here, that aren't connected to anything on the end. So what I did was I did this. I went over and I added another layer, and I called this layer the anchor layer. And you could call it anything you want, but I called it the anchor layer. And then I went and I grabbed a piece of track. And I'm just going to come up here. I'm going to grab this guy right here. And I'm going to copy him and come down here. I'm going to paste him. Now he has pasted into the anchor layer because that was the layer that we had highlighted. And I'm just going to shrink him down a little bit like this. And I'm going to drag him over here and I'm going to attach him right here. Just like that. Now, he's on the anchor layer. If I go to another layer, let's make that the active layer. Now, I can turn off the anchor layer. And you'll notice that my layer 3.4 is still there. 
And there's nothing on 3.4a right now. I can turn off both of those. And you'll see there's nothing on 3.4a. It's still just on 3.4. So I'm going to turn the anchor layer back on. I'm going to come over here and I am going to go up to the connection point. And hopefully you can see that I highlighted it right there. And I'm going to delete that connection point because I don't want that connection point. Now, I'm going to come back up here, and I don't know if this is a necessary step or not, but I'm going to make the original layer that we're copying the active layer. And I'm going to select everything on that layer. But I am not going to select the piece of track that's on my anchor layer. Just what is on that 3.4 layer that we want to copy. Now, I'm going to do a Control C. All right. Now, I am going to make 3.4a my active layer, and I'm going to turn off 3.4. Now it's gone. Yeah, I'm not sure what the heck that is up there. That might be on the test layer. Let's see. Yes, it is. So we'll make that go away as well, because we don't need it. Now, we're working on the 3.4a. I'm going to come in. I'm going to hit Control-V. Oops, i got to select the center of the uh, drawing first. Then I'll hit Control-V. There's my track. Now I'm going to come down here. I'm going to grab this piece. This is where we connected it at. I'm going to move the whole thing over here, and I'm going to let it connect up just like that. Now I can come over here, and I can turn on the original layer. Did you see it? It just got a little more bold there. Let me turn that one off again. Watch the, tr watch the edge of the track. Now let me zoom in. Hey, it just gets a little more bold. So my original layer is now right on top of my copied layer. So I can come here and I can say, make my original layer, my active layer, turn off that. And now you'll see there's the colors of my original layer. Come back over here, turn on my copy. Copy is sitting on top of the original layer. And you'll notice everything seems to line up just fine. Let's do that one more time. I'm going to turn off my copy. And now I'm going to turn my copy back on. And that looks like a good way to be able to copy track components to a new layer. So now I can have that new layer sitting there, and I can make changes on that, but still have my original track design on the other layer. And then I can just come over here, and I can either erase this piece of track that I used as my anchor, or I can just turn off that layer. So that's the way that I've found to be able to copy track components to a new layer. I can't find any other way in any rail to do that. Now, in other CAD programs, I could just say copy entities to uh, whatever layer name is, and it would copy those entities to that new layer and then leave the original entities on the original layer. But any rail doesn't do that. So there you go. There's a way to copy track components to a new layer, and I hope this video was helpful. And in the next video, we'll take a look at a way to copy entities like the room outline or buildings to a new layer and get them lined up. And it's a little bit different than the way we did it here. So we'll see you in the next video.